what is up guys welcome to the world of minecraft and today the main quest for today is to find diamonds and here you see my dolphin buddies my dolphin buddy swimming in the ocean he just happens to be living here in a lake right next to me how are you doing there buddy and we got ourselves a chest here we're going to be preparing ourselves to go into the caves and the one objective for today is to find diamonds and we are here in the world of Draymar guys download this map you can find it right here on planet minecraft the map is awesome you can go check it out i highly recommend it it has its own story tutorial and everything you learn minecraft and it's like a totally different game so I'm just going to go around feeding my sheep here so that they repopulate. I'm going to be getting a sheep farm next episode guys. Coming episodes we're going to be building farms. We're going to be building all sorts of things. But I got to get my base up. I got to get my normal base up. And here we go. We're going to the caves. Let's go guys. But right before we go into the cave we gotta got to do a little bit of food harvesting here. Because we're running really low on food. I'm going to go harvest my crops gonna get that wheat feed it to all my animals kill those animals take the meat from them cook it and then i gotta head back into the cave because it's really difficult going unprepared into the cave you're gonna get attacked by a lot of monsters you're gonna be doing a lot of mining that takes your food bag like you just need a lot of chicken legs you know what i'm saying so let's do this farming and so I'm going to build these farms real fast. You can see me it's sped up, sped up eight times. I'm gonna start building. Here we go guys. So the easy way how to build your early farms, I mean your wheat farms and your crops, is place a bucket of water and build a nine by nine plot of land and the bucket of water in the middle. This helps you maximize the land that you have. It all needs to be a hold on dirt so you need to have a hoe i built myself here a steel hoe you know, but i'm looking out to get one of those diamond hoes because diamond hoes are where it's at you know what i'm saying so watch me craft this wheat into bread real quick so that's the recipe for bread three wheat in a row and you get some quick food on the go guys i have myself here a little tree farm set up guys and you can see the trees I break them to get some logs, early logs, you need a lot of wood early on in the game. Actually you need a lot of wood a lot of times in the game. So you see that, that's because of the data pack I have, it's called I think tree harvester or something like that, a fast leave tree decay. So the whole point is not to make this playthrough a really grindy playthrough you know i have a few quality of life hacks i have a few mods installed that make the grindy aspects of minecraft which i find a little boring it just negates that part and lets you focus on the enjoyable part that is the building that is the mining that is the crafting you know what i'm saying but i hate spending the entire day crafting trees and then 20 minutes goes by you just you know I, I mean chopping wood it's really boring and then I have this another data pack it's called vein miner so vein miner helps you mine out an entire vein of ores but you know I feel yeah it might be a little broken to some of you purists out there but I'm gonna try to keep this uh, playthrough as you know less grindy as possible um, and I got little time to ways where it comes to grinding and that's how i'm just gonna play minecraft how i love playing it with a few data packs on the vanilla experience yeah and there's a creeper right here so guys a little bit more on this map dremel or is it dremel anyway it's dremel primordial and it has a lot of interesting things to it so the first thing you notice it has a very RPG-esque theme going on where you're put into this world like Skyrim or any Elder Scrolls game where you're nobody, you start from nothing. You have the option to play regular Minecraft build structures but there are already a lot of structures built 
Or uh, you have the option to explore the world, you know. And this one thing I love about Minecraft is the structure. Discovering things, running into, stumbling upon random world encounters. It really makes the game interesting. And here I'm going to show you all a little trick with the torches. So if you set a torch under a piece of gravel, the torch will break all the grab pieces of gravel that fall on top of it. So that's a really fast way of mining gravel. Just a little trick I've added in the light. I'm going to try to do it again here. So just watch. I put a torch in my off hand and let all the gravel fall on it. And bam, you got a whole bunch of gravel and it doesn't even break the gravel guys. You can just go pick up that, use it in your concrete powder or whatever. Use it in your parts. It's a really neat trick guys. And while I go deep, I'm just going to speed this up and danger awaits because we are getting lower and lower that we are at Y14 or Y12 at the moment and bam, we're in the depths of the cave. Oh, and we just stumbled into some lava. And right about here guys, we stumble into what has to be a Minecraft generated cave or well you can say the cave was generated by the map. And there are a bunch of creepers in here, a skeleton, you gotta be real careful while entering this cave so that we don't damage ourselves. We have a little food on us but I don't know how long that's gonna last, but guys. We're trying to get into this cave and I, from the looks of it, there's a bunch of dime, um, you know, iron ore, coal. We will definitely need a lot of that because the projects we are about to build is going to require a lot of minerals. And you see that that's O vein miner. Uh, that's a data pack that I'm using to mine out an entire section of all the ores that you see if they touch each other. So if two blocks of ores are touching each other, you can mine out one and the entire vein will break but it does consume your food and it does consume your pickaxe at the same rate as you would uh, as it would consume an entire uh, had you mined out the entire vein manually so the advantage is to have that speed speed up so that you don't spend a lot of time in this game grinding i know a lot of you love mining i know a lot of you love mining each and every one of those veins by hand like manually which is fine fine by me play the game how you like it it's all up to you guys but honestly the truth is i don't have a lot of time on my hands so i only try to enjoy this game the way i like to play it with my buddies and they we have a lot of fun together so we're exploring this map together today and I definitely recommend if you love Minecraft you should definitely go check out this map one more time I'm repeating myself a lot I know but definitely go try to check this map out it's one of the greatest map if not the greatest map ever made a lot of hard work and dedication went into the creation of this map by the creators man shout out to them and guys while mining into this cave here's what I found oh boy out of nowhere the goal of this episode, what we were here for guys, diamonds. We found a nice vein of diamonds. I'm pretty sure that the diamonds were carefully kept placed by the makers of the map. So the veins are a little bigger than vanilla generation. I guess I'll be getting a lot of diamonds today. Oh, they seem to be the same number of ores or a little bit more. I felt like I got a little bit more because this is just a voiceover. Yeah, there are a lot of ores in a single vein. There are definitely four or more. And I find a little more diamonds later on, but the goal of this episode, guys, we have fulfilled it. Yes, we have found diamonds. Here's a screenshot. This is definitely going to be the thumbnail of the episode. So, guys, I'm so glad. Let me mine this out real quick. I'll come back to you on the other side. Doesn't it feel so satisfying mining diamonds oh this is yes this is what this game is for and there are two more at the bottom of this so that's like a total of six ores that's eight diamonds okay two 
two diamonds you must be wondering from where did i get them and there's another one here i knew that was coming because this is the voice over there i did this before and it, yeah that's that's a lot of diamonds pretty satisfying oh my god that's that's a lot that's a lot uh, you can see the coordinates up there below my map if you happen to be playing this map and playing along with me and trying to follow like each and every location we discover together me and my friends you can look at the coordinates at any time at the top map and know where to find the resources but i implore you guys should go play your own game just enjoy the because discovering the map on your own is is a really special feeling you know anyway guys so you must be wondering what are all these achievements why do i have so many achievements popping up these are vanilla achievements so i do have this additional data pack it's called blazon caves achievements so basically what it does is it's a server side pack so uh, your friend if you are setting up a server you can you just have to put the pack on your server and you're done you don't have to get your friends to install it nothing so the thing about it is it has a, around 800 achievements to the game and the achievement comes with very small rewards you know like I, I mine, the first time I mined diamonds I got two additional diamonds for me so it makes small rewards that keeps the game a little more interesting keeps you chasing those achievements and i think it does have an option to enable a scoreboard so if you're playing on a multiplayer server you can literally compete with your friends on who has more achievements which is really great guys it's really fun and keeps the game the momentum going and a lot of you might feel like you get exhausted of minecraft and you're stuck in a rut and you don't know what to do next but this is one of the small things that keep the game really interesting keep the pacing of the game makes you feel like you know you want to achieve something you want to you're, you're searching you're questing so it makes that rpg experience a lot more better plus you know you can go uh, multiplayer servers without this pack i feel it's no use because if you have a multiplayer server you can add the blaze and caves achievement uh, pack and you see your know, a whole new game like it's totally interesting and here i was just about the uh, end the episode and i stumbled upon what seems to be something really weird guys this isn't vanilla, vanilla generation this is from the map itself so basically this seems to be a cave filled with obsidian so guys i don't need to build make obsidian using a bucket of water because naturally generating generated obsidian happens to hang from the ceiling in this part of the cave guys which is totally amazing vanilla minecraft cave update take notes because this looks amazing guys it totally adds atmosphere and it's not like obsidian is this rare resource that it, it's spammed all throughout the you know cave it's a big deal i mean we're pretty low we are at y17 and and i don't know we just happen to come across it so i'm gonna mine up a little obsidian since we're here and try to get it and make a nether portal next episode guys next episode we head to the nether because we finally got a diamond pickaxe and that was the goal of this so i'll see you next episode guys hope you like press the video subscribe do all that youtube nonsense take care guys bless you